Hello YouTube and welcome to another Kubernetes uh, tutorial. So in this video I will show you how to run a simple Nginx Kubernetes application using Minikube on Windows Server 2019. So are you ready? Let's get started. So as you have seen on my last video I showed you how to install Minikube that actually allows us to interact with Kubernetes but using a package manager Chocolate. So here I'm assuming that you have installed Minikube. So first thing first, we need to start Minikube. So in order to start it, it's pretty easy. You type Minikube start. Okay. So you can provide a bunch of options, especially for the drivers. So you can use Hyper-V or VirtualBox or Docker. So here I'm gonna use VirtualBox because I just installed it on my machine. But you can leave it with the default if you want. Okay. So normally it will run using the Hyper-V if you have Hyper-V installed in your machine but me I'm gonna actually use VirtualBox in order to start Minikube Here we go, so as you can see, kubectl is now configured to use Minikube cluster and the default namespace by default. Okay, so now that Minikube is started, we can verify that using the command Minikube status. Okay. So you can see now that the type is control plan the host is running, the kubelets are running, also the IP server is running and the cube config is configured. So we can start interacting with Kubernetes. And you know the main command that we can use is kubectl that allows us to interact with actually Kubernetes. So here we're gonna install a simple Nginx application. So we will actually use the Nginx image okay in order to run this deployment so the command to create a deployment in uh, kubernetes is pretty simple we type kubectl create okay and we're gonna create a deployment we have to provide a name so i will use nginx so let's call this deployment my nginx but you can call it whatever you want and of course we'll be using the image from the default uh, repository and the name of course if the image is nginx so this is the command that will actually pull the image from the github repo in order to deploy it in our cluster okay so let's run it here we go it was quick so we can see we can actually see the state of our deployment using the command kubectl get deployment okay so you can see the state here is ready one on one okay up to date one available one and the age was 18 seconds ago okay so this is actually my nginx deployment you can also see the pods that has been created when we create this deployment using the command kubectl and this time get pods okay here we go so you can see the name of my pod so here i have only one pod so the name is this name here my nginx dash c54954 okay and status is running okay we can also get more detail about this pods using 
kubectl describe pods okay so here you get a bunch of information about your pods okay but the most interesting part is the event so if you have any problem downloading or pulling actually the image you will see it here so here you can successfully you see all the messages related to the pods okay so here it was created and it was started okay but as I told you I only have one pod so let's say that we want to create what we call replica sets we want more pods so for example I want four pods okay so we can do that simply so let me first clear the screen here so we can actually scale our deployment so we'll use the command kubectl we're gonna scale our deployment so I have to provide here the name of my deployment which is my nginx and we'll use the option here dash dash replica so here specify how many pods you want so for me I want for example four pods so before I have only one but now I want to deploy four okay so let's run it here we go let's get actually uh, see our deployment here we go let's use the command kubectl get deployment so here you can see four of four deployments or actually a pod has been created we can see the pods of, of course using the command get pods here we go so here now you can see that we have four pods that are running and each one with its age so the most oldest one is actually was started three minutes 18 seconds ago and the three one that we have been created just 30 seconds ago and status of course it's they are all running okay and if you want to get actually uh, the event for a specific pod you can also use the command kubectl describe okay pod and you will provide the pod name so for example i want to see the description of this pod here at the end so i can select it copy it and paste it okay here we go and as I told you the most important part is the events we can see all the events related to this specific pod okay so it's always good if you have any problem to check these events and to check also the details like the IP address of the pod and the node also okay So now how can I access my application so in order to access your application actually which is in this case nginx which is web server you can create a service so there are many types of services so here we'll use actually the most uh, common way which is called node port so first we have to expose the port so we'll use the command kubectl expose expose here we go expose not explodes <laughs> expose then the deployment and of course I have to provide the name so my nginx okay so as I told you there are many types so here I will use uh, not port so make sure to spell it correctly with capital letters okay and also the port that I'm using for the nginx is of course 80 okay so this will expose 
port 80 okay here we go here we have uh, already exists so because I, I already run it before but the command is that one okay and in order to get actually the URL in order to access our app we use Minikube okay service and the name of our deployment my nginx or service actually dash dash URL so here Minikube will gives us an URL in order to access our application so if we copy this uh, IP address or this link actually and if we go and open our browser normally we should get our application here we go so you can see that you can reach your application here with the browser with this address provided by Minikube okay and all the settings that you have seen can also be accessed but not uh, with the command line but graphically if you use mini cube dashboard so here I will show you the dashboard of mini cube here we go so it will open your browser by default and it will show you all the deployment so here you can see the deployment I have only one which is called my nginx we have our four pods that we have run okay and we have of course one replica set so here you get the details about the four pods and also about your deployment of course and the replica set okay so you can take a look at this dashboard there are many many things that you can do here but as I told you it's just a simple application so we'll get in more details in the future videos so in this video I just want to show you a preview of all what you can actually do with Kubernetes here if you run simple application okay so you can terminate that using Ctrl C here we go and of course if you want to delete your deployment the command is also pretty straightforward kubectl delete deployment and you provide your deployment name so in my case it was my nginx here we go so let's check that let's check if I have no deployment so you can see no resource found in the default namespace I have no deployment no pods anymore okay so that was just a brief introduction to Kubernetes to how to run a simple uh, Kubernetes application and in our case we used actually the nginx web server as an example as always I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing bye bye